Okay, I am joined by Paulina Lebo, Assistant General Manager with Drury Hotels, coming to us from St. Louis, Missouri. How are you? Yes, good. How are you, Jason? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, your hotel's open, right? So you're a little busy? Yes, yes. We are open. We are busy, which we like. So. Yeah. Well, tell us about your personal experience uh, over the past six, seven months. Well, um, for us, it was uh, challenging because we stayed open. So we are uh, part of the industry, I'd say, as an upper mid-scale hotel that stayed open. Uh, we don't have a destination hotel or a resort hotel where we can just decide, okay, let's close our doors, regroup. We did that while being open so that was definitely challenging and it was also um, a lot of smart decisions very quickly new procedures a lot of communication uh, we went from having a full staffed hotel to okay it's management and a handful of team members everybody's going to quarantine what do we need to do and then prioritize uh, prioritize from there and um, what, how many hours are we working? We are, what are we doing with our services? We continue to serve, you know, your breakfast or our happy hour and what that was going to look like for us, uh, with the restrictions that we had at the time. So it was definitely assessing two different crises at the same time. One obviously being the pandemic and the other one being the hospitality industry overall and getting the cancellations and figuring out how we're going to keep our hotels open and running while all of this is unraveling around us. So it was definitely challenging, but also um, very, a big, big lesson on what we can do, what, what we can do better, what, what's working for us and all that good stuff. So how, how many rooms at your hotel? 274. So that's a big place. It's in it St. Louis? Yes. Yes. And, Outskirts of St. Louis. Okay. And your typical guest, your historical guest would be what? We get a mix of corporate and leisure. Uh, we always have our brand is very family friendly. Uh, but we also, from where we're located in St. Louis, we also get a corporate travel. So for us, that means, you know, um, how do we continue to operate? Because obviously with the travel bans and all that stuff, that, that can get challenging. So your occupancy is, of course, down. Um, right. Are there attractions nearby that people, did you like get any revenge travel in the summer? Uh, we do. I think that for us, the trend is definitely a positive one. Um, people are going back to... Um, kind of living with this now and learning how we're going to travel and how we're going to stay smart with our restrictions and what we can uh, do to make the guests feel safe in our hotels, whether it's uh, the cleanliness standpoint, the customer service is also very important, communicating with the guests what we're doing, why we're doing it, what has changed. I think that helps. Um, but yeah, absolutely, definitely. People are wanting to be out. People want to even get out of the house. So that has helped us for sure. So what kind of um, tactics are you using to drive bookings? I mean, are you leveraging your email list? Are you all over social? Or, or maybe, you know, are you next door to Anheuser-Busch and people just show up? Or <laughs> <laughs> How's that going? Kind of. So for us, I think just making sure we are communicating that we are open uh, company-wide. We didn't close one hotel. We have hotels, uh, 150 hotels plus or in, all over the country. Wow. So making sure we tell our guests we are open, you can stay with us. You know, you get that um, person that's moving across the country, they need somewhere to stay. Uh, food truckers need somewhere to stay. Government employees need somewhere to stay. So making sure we are um, by word of mouth, 
making everybody aware we are taking the right measures. We are keeping our team safe. Everybody's being trained properly on, the, on our new procedures. I, I hear about that all the time. Everybody just making this new wave of industry procedures. So that pushing that for us has been very important as far as bringing business, you know, um, offering all of our amenities, whether they're slightly different, but uninterrupted service and making sure that that's getting out there. It's important for us. Does your marketing come from a central office or is it spread out or how does that work? Ours is from our central office. So we're a family owned and operated company okay. based off St. Louis. So most of our work, it's being done at it, St. Louis. Yeah. And, and so Drury's 150 hotels, you said? Yeah, 150 plus uh, hotels. J- just the U.S. or? U.S., yes. Okay. And, and they are primarily in, I mean, I, I see them. I'm in Houston, Texas. Uh, they're mm-hmm. here. Um, are they in big cities, small cities, all over? Yeah, all over the place. We, um, we have kind of like the upper mid scale is what we, we are interested in. Um, college towns, that's a popular um, destination for us, for the market that we like. Uh, but yeah, we are, we're out there, we're growing. Maybe uh, at a different pace now with the pandemic, but definitely. Yeah. There. All right. With the time we have remaining, Paulina, any advice for the hotel you're just continuing to go through this mess? Um, I'd say from an operation standpoint, uh, I know we all talk about strategies and revenue and rates and all that um, information that just gets getting trickled through us. There's a lot of people working on that. But as an operations manager, just think like an owner, like take ownership of your property, of your hotel, of caring for your hotel, caring for your team. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely a challenge. It's okay to make it feel like it's a challenge. It's something that we don't know when, when how, what it's going to look like six months from now, a year from now. So just staying on that right mindset, watch your costs. Your costs are also very important. Um, how are you going to run your, be smart about the decisions that you make every day? Because those daily choices that you make affect your operation, whether it's how you're staffing your housekeeping, how you're serving your food, um, making sure your guests are taken care of so they return to your property or other properties that you may have across the country. So just staying on that mindset that it will be hard, but it's rewarding and just feel passionate about what you're doing and then you'll be okay. Okay, that's some good advice. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. It's my pleasure. All right, bye.